This illustration deals with the identification of intrinsically safe cables in accordance with NEC 504.80, A is an apple, and B is in boy. Now, let's focus on the cable tray, the raceway system, or the cable system, as you see to the right of the illustration. And these intrinsically safe circuits, the cables could be identified with a blue uh, spray, may uh, say uh, every 25 foot. Sometimes these are about a foot uh, of identification of a blue, uh, light blue type uh, uh, colored paint. Or a label could be put on them. Or you could wrap them inside the cable tray and put that label on the cable tray by 504.80B as you see there. The installation of the cable tray now uh, with these type of circuits is 392.10C as in car. And then of course you see we have the terminals uh, going into the equipment, uh, 504.80A. The separation rule is there in 504.30. You have the identification of the light blue coloring or labeling uh, at you see there in 504.80A. The seals that are required based upon certain conditions of installation are in 504.70 for intrinsically safe, but for the power circuits, it's in 501.15 for gas and vapor, 502.15 for dust, flying, and fibers, and things like that in Article 503. And then you have your 504.16, which basically uh, deals with the zones that we would use. See? So uh, this uh, figure, uh, 4-26, is illustrating how intrinsically safe circuits must be identified so an electrician uh, knows these circuits and do not... Well, the electrician just doesn't do something to put a voltage on them that is higher than they are allowed to have and do damage to components that make up an intrinsically safe system.